Hello leaders, today uh, we are going to talk about uh, in the series of uh, portfolio management, we are going to talk about strategy. Strategy is all about EBITDA. Now, I am going to double click it. Uh, the word strategy is very loosely used in the industry. So what I think it's important to break it down. Now, uh, I'm going to talk in terms of a for-profit company specifically, and, and, and it's better, better to talk in terms of a common denominator, which is dollars. How about that? That's what uh, finally it boils down to, right? So if you look at this, there is a top line, which is the revenue sales of a company, and obviously you want it higher and higher. And then there is the bottom line, uh, which is the total net profit of a company. Obviously, you want it uh, high too. And then you see that that EBITDA is there in the middle. And and and, and that, that gives a very good indication of how the cash flow of a company, uh, because it also takes into consideration the operational expenses, how cost effective you are. Uh, how is your operational and, and obviously for a portfolio you want to maximize revenue and also control costs so that gives you a very good structure uh, to understand and again to keep it simple uh, EBITDA is nothing but earnings before interest taxes depreciation and amortization so this is very important to understand so when you put numbers in perspective it makes it clean right so now how does this EBITDA uh, uh, you know apply to strategy now strategy is an enterprise approach to maximize EBITDA by optimizing operations increasing revenues and controlling costs okay and hence you need to understand these three numbers together uh, for example uh, in stock markets you will very clearly see that uh, you know though the top line obviously we want the top line and the bottom line to beat but when this distance is small uh, then you will see that the market behaves uh, crazily you know so uh, all these three numbers put together gives you the financial health of a company and the portfolio's job uh, is to create uh, more and more wealth for an organization and strategy helps to do that right so uh, it is so with this uh, perspective uh, when we talk it makes it very clear now how do we measure this uh, strategy right that's where the OKRs or the objective key results comes and, and this objective key results is a job of the portfolio. If this gets messed up, everything gets bad. Now this OKRs serves as a measure uh, of a like a strategic framework which helps to translate these high level strategies into actionable and measurable goals. Now, obviously, everybody wants more money, but how do you uh, bring it to life? How do you make sure that these strategies uh, or, or, you know, you know, is progressing? This OKRs gives that measure. Now, the other problem with many portfolios is they completely confuse OKRs and KPIs. And many companies, they don't even understand the difference between the two. So I'm going to talk in another series in detail about that. Uh, but today, I'm, I, at least let me get it started, right? So the OKRs, uh, you know, keep it in perspective that it is about changing the business, okay? Uh, and for example, in the previous series on value streams, I talked about various business models and capabilities. So the enterprises do experiments uh, with lean startup cycles to change those business models. And the OKRs helps to, uh, you know, measure that. Now, KPI is the ongoing metric of a company. It shows the ongoing health of a, a company and that is KPI. So let me give you an example. Let's say if I'm Netflix, okay, and I may say, you know what, why don't I try to go inside the, um, you know, sports streaming business and why don't we start streaming uh, NFL games and they do everything right there. They apply the strategy, all their OKRs are fulfilled there. But let's say they are not getting any new subscriptions because of it or their ad growth, two KPIs are not working, uh, then everything is wrong. So uh, we at IBC here, uh, we connect this uh, gap between OKRs and KPIs and see whether the strategy, which is represented by OKRs, is driving the KPIs. If there is no strong correlation, then uh, all of our strategies are for a waste. And, it, and, and we need to connect this feedback loop, and, and this is uh, very important. Right? So today, um, I, I want to keep a logical close. So why don't I also, as always, show you some hands-on uh, demo. So today we will take Jira Align, right? 
So if you take Jira Online, they have something called a strategic room uh, where you have a snapshot uh, where it very beautifully says the mission, vision, values, the long-term goals, early, early goals, quarterly goals, uh, and then and then how these strategic goals are implemented, you know, and the themes, uh, how are they implemented, and, and at every level it shows that, right? And not only that, you can also go down to the OKR heat map and it very clearly shows how all these uh, long-term and short-term goals are getting and gives the portfolio a bird's eye view to see how these uh, strategic uh, uh, strategies are progressing. It also has a strategic backlog uh, where the portfolio's job is to manage the strategic backlog. And it also has a strategic tree uh, where you can very clearly uh, see uh, the, the mission, vision and all that, right? Very beautifully. Okay, so uh, today uh, I would um, uh, I, I would stop here as a logical close, um, but would like you all to appreciate uh, that it's better to talk in terms of numbers, and it's important that you use artificial intelligence to track whether the strategic uh, goals in your company, which is represented by OKRs, are progressing, and whether uh, these OKRs are really moving the needle on KPIs. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, the portfolio has failed its mission and, 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 and it's important that the portfolio has these data points to dynamically pivot or adjust uh, and that is very key. Okay, so today I will stop here. Um, have a great day ahead. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>